Hello. So we're going to discuss the blood vessels of the leg and the foot as usual. It's Dr. Omende. So um, the objectives, just to discover the topography of the vessels and the clinical relevance. So we have external iliac at the mid inguinal point. It becomes femoral artery. Femoral artery will give its branches and enter adductor canal. At the adductor hiatus, it becomes popliteal artery. But we also have other vessels in the lower limb, like obturator artery from internal iliac, the gluteal, superior and inferior gluteal vessels from internal iliac, and the popliteal giving anterior and posterior um, tibial vessels. Then the veins, we have great and small saphenous veins and the tributaries, as well as the deep veins, such as the tibial, anterior and posterior <coughs> tibial veins, popliteal veins. <coughs> so the deep veins include femoral veins, popliteal veins, and um, the tibial uh, veins. Remember, the anterior and posterior tibial veins join to form the popliteal vein, and at the adductor hiatus, the vein continues upwards as femoral vein. Okay, so um, this are just images to show you. The common iliac divides into external and internal iliac. External iliac um, at the mid inguinal point becomes femoral artery. Okay, so this is your aorta common iliac on the right, common iliac on the left and on the right. Common iliac gives you internal iliac and external iliac. At the mid inguinal point, it becomes femoral artery. Okay, and femoral artery gives profunda femoral. Then at the adductor canal, superficial femoral continues as a popliteal artery. Then um, this is your um, lateral circumflex femoral that gives a genicular branch downwards. This is a genicular branch from the femoral coming to participate in the genicular anastomosis. Then you have your um, popliteal dividing into anterior tibial at mid malleola becomes your dorsalis pedis. And then as you're looking at it from the posterior aspect, from the adductor canal, popliteal artery comes downwards and gives a branch posteriorly that's your posterior tibial and anterior tibial pierces the uh, interosseous membrane to be, go to the anterior compartment of the leg. And this posterior um, tibial at the tarsal tunnel divides into the medial uh, plantar and the lateral plantar arteries. Okay, so that's your popliteal artery and the branches that form the genicular anastomosis, you have the superior medial branch, superior lateral, inferior medial, inferior lateral. And, um, Popliteal artery continues downwards as posterior tibial, which divides into medial plantar and lateral plantar. This division occurs at the tarsal tunnel. Remember, apart from giving posterior tibial, it also gives anterior tibial that pierces interosseous membrane to supply anterior compartment of the leg. So that's the anterior tibial in the anterior compartment. At the mid malleolar point, it becomes dorsalis pedis that forms the arc to supply the dorsum of the foot. So that's your um, aorta, that's your common iliac um, on the right, uh, on the left, divides into internal iliac and external iliac at mid inguinal point. That's the inguinal ligament, becomes femoral artery, has profunda femoral and it's three perforators, then at the terminal portion forms the fourth perforator. That's your descending um, genicular branch, that's your lateral circumflex femoral artery, and it's descending genicular branch that will participate in the genicular anastomosis. So popliteal artery is a continuation of femoral artery at the adductor hiatus. Okay, the adductor hiatus it runs through the popliteal fossa and it ends at the lower border of the muscle popliteus by dividing into anterior tibial and posterior tibial vessels. So that's your popliteal artery, the most anterior structure in the popliteal fossa. Then it usually gives five branches, superior medial genicular artery, okay, superior lateral genicular artery, then you have there, that's your superior lateral, <coughs> then medial, um, um, inferior medial genicular artery, there it is, inferior medial, and inferior lateral genicular artery, that's inferior lateral. So superior medial, superior lateral, inferior medial, inferior lateral. 
and lastly the middle genicular artery so those are the five branches of popliteal artery so this is your popliteal artery adductor hiatus to lower border of muscle popliteus then it divides into anterior and posterior, posterior tibial arteries so that's anterior tibial it pierces interosseous to go into anterior compartment of the leg and posterior tibial continues and the posterior compartment and gives a peroneal branch on the lateral aspect so this posterior tibial and this is your peroneal artery so the anastomosis around the knee is the genicular anastomosis it's made by the following branches you have a descending branch of the lateral circumflex femoral artery okay there it is then you have a descending <coughs> genicular um, so the descending genicular um, branch of femoral artery so that's the descending genicular branch of femoral artery you can see it there then we have branches from uh, recurrent branches from the anterior tibial artery. You can see this <coughs> anterior tibial, and this is anterior tibial here, and it's given a recurrent going upwards to participate in the genicular anastomosis. So that's the third branch in the genicular anastomosis. Then um, we also have five branches of the popliteal artery. Remember, we said there is a superior medial genicular, superior lateral genicular from popliteal. Inferior medial genicular and inferior lateral genicular. You can see it's coming from popliteal, inferior medial, inferior lateral, superior medial, superior lateral, and then there's a middle genicular artery from popliteal. So those are the branches in the genicular anastomosis. Then we have popliteal at the lower border of muscle popliteus. Popliteal artery divides into anterior tibial and posterior tibial. Anterior tibial pierces the interosseous membrane to come into the anterior compartment. Of the leg it supplies all the structures in the anterior compartment of the leg and also can give uh, perforating branches to the <coughs> compartment so it can give um, perforating anterior tibial can give perforating branches to the lateral compartment of the leg okay so where does anterior tibial artery end at the midpoint between the malleoli between the medial and lateral malleoli the midpoint that's where anterior tibial terminates it terminates and continues as dorsalis pedis artery. So that's dorsalis pedis. Okay. So it also gives the anterior tibial will give and uh, and and sorry, it gives anterior medial and lateral malleolar branches to the malleolar. So anterior medial and anterior lateral malleolar branches. So next we discuss posterior tibial originates from the popliteal artery at the lower border of the muscle popliteus. It's one of the two terminal branches of popliteal artery and it supplies structures in the posterior and the lateral compartment of the leg. It runs behind and inferior to the lateral malleoli. Okay, behind and inferior to the lateral malleoli, then divides into medial and lateral plantar branches within the tarsal tunnel. So the posterior tibial will give peroneal artery that gives <coughs> the posterior tibial will give peroneal artery. And this peroneal artery will give lateral malleolar and calcaneal branches to the lateral malleolars and the calcaneus. So um, the dorsalis spidis artery, as we have said, it's a continuation of anterior tibial artery at the midpoint between lateral and medial malleoli. So that's your dorsalis um, spidis, continuation of anterior tibial. Mm -hmm. And what are the branches of dorsalis spidis? We have a lateral tarsal branch and a medial tarsal branch also we have an acute branch so lateral tarsal this is your dorsalis pedis medial tarsal lateral tarsal and an acute branch and then we also have a first dorsal metatarsal artery so those <coughs> are the branches so these are the branches of dorsalis um, pedis artery this dorsalis pedis continuation of anterior tibial at mid malleolar point it gives a lateral tarsal medial tarsal an acute artery and a first dorsal metatarsal that will go to the um, first space between the uh, first and the second metatarsal. So um, we also have a deep um, plantar uh, branch, you can see it there, deep plantar, so it will get into the plantar aspect through the uh, first space between the metatarsals. So lateral tarsal, medial tarsal, acute fast dorsal metatarsal and deep plantar so then the plantar arteries where do they come from 
the posterior tibial artery, which is a, um, from the population artery, <coughs> it's a posterior tibial divides into oh. lateral, posterior tibial divides into lateral plantar and uh, medial plantar arteries. And this occur <coughs> at the um, tarsal tunnel. The tarsal tunnel is on the medial aspect of the foot. So it divides into lateral plantar and medial plantar arteries. The medial plantar usually gives the first plantar metatarsal arteries. Then we have a deep plantar arc. Where does deep plantar arc come from? It's formed by the deep plantar branch of dorsalis pedis artery and the lateral plantar artery. Okay, so it's formed by the um, deep plantar branch. Remember the deep plantar <coughs> branch of dorsalis? So that's your deep plantar arc formed by lateral plantar artery on the lateral aspect and it will be completed by the um, deep plantar branch of dorsalis pedis. Remember we said uh, dorsalis pedis is on the dorsum, then it will pierce and get to the plantar aspect between the first and second metatarsal. So it completes the deep plantar arc medially. So deep plantar arc is formed by deep plantar branch of dorsalis pedis and the lateral plantar artery, which is on the lateral aspect. Lateral plantar is from posterior tibial medial <coughs> so um that's your uh, arc your deep plantar arc that's the deep plantar branch of dorsalis pedis and your lateral uh, plantar artery so we also have an anastomosis around the ankle joint so which arteries form this anastomosis so you have the calcaneal branches of posterior tibial and peroneal arteries the calcaneal branches of posterior tibial and common peroneal um, arteries. Remember, peroneal, sorry, peroneal artery comes from posterior tibial. So calcaneal branches from these two. Then um, we also have the medial and lateral malleolar branches from the anterior tibial, anteriorly. So medial and lateral malleolar branches. And then you also have malleolar branches from posterior tibial and peroneal arteries. So as you can see, these are calcaneal branches of the posterior tibial and of peroneal. Then you also have malleolar branches of posterior tibial end. So you have malleolar branches of anterior um, tibial arteries anteriorly. So you have medial and lateral malleolar branches. Then you have um, medial and lateral malleolar branches from the posterior tibial and peroneal arteries and then calcaneal branches of posterior tibial and peroneal. So those form the anastomosis around the ankle joint. So the veins of the lower limbs we had discussed that you have deep veins accompanying the arteries, then superficial veins, and these are connected by perforators. So the deep veins of the foot drain into the dorsal venous arc. Okay, drain, deep veins of the foot are drained to the dorsal venous arc, and then on the medial aspect and lateral aspect we have the marginal veins. From the sides of the arc. So your great saphenous vein forms by union of dorsal venous arc and medial marginal vein on the medial aspect. Okay, and then it terminates at piercing cribriform fascia at the um, femoral triangle, then it enters into the, uh, drains blood into the femoral vein. Remember the landmarks, finger breadth anterior to medial malleola and hands breadth posterior to the patella. So, great saphenous vein, medial marginal vein, continuing as great saphenous vein, ascends finger breadth anterior to medial malleolar of leg and thigh, and then through the saphenous opening <coughs> and so then that's a small saphenous vein from dorsal venous arc and the lateral marginal vein passing posterior to lateral malleoli. On the posterior aspect of the leg to drain into the popliteal um, um, vein. So that's your saphenous. So you have communicating veins, uh, perforating veins that drain lesser saphenous <coughs> into the deep. Uh, so we have varicose um, veins and deep vein thrombosis. So that's the if the surface anatomy, that's your femoral, that's your popliteal and posterior um, tibial, the medial plantar, 
and atrophy and anterior uh, tibial vessels. And that's